Hi there, this is Cass from You Want Pizzazz Video Editing Services. Today I'm going to do a very simple tutorial on how to create proxies and how to use them in your projects. I find proxies really helpful when you're dealing with 4K footage and sometimes your computer can't handle it. So what proxies do is it allows you to make a duplicate of your video file, which is a lot lower in resolution, and it allows you to connect the 4K files to the lower resolution files. So it's very simple and easy to do. Um, I found it very daunting when I first heard about proxies, but I just wanted to create this tutorial to help out people who don't really know anything about proxies. So I have some sample footage here in this folder. I'm going to be taking these files and I'm going to be making proxies of them. So the first thing that I like to do is to drag them into Media Encoder. Make sure to open Media Encoder. And all you have to do is drag the files right in here. Perfect. So now you want to just edit all these files. So you just select all of them and you click here. Yes. Okay. And this box will come up. So here you're just editing the files. You can edit all the files to be the same resolution. So I'm just going to make them all 1920 by 1080. Perfect. And press OK. And here you can change where the files are going to end up. You just click here. And I'm going to just find where my other files are. So I put it into tutorial assets. So here's where my original footage is. And it's important to make a separate folder for your proxies. So I'm going to just name this proxies, press OK. So all of these files are going to go to my proxies. So they're all 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to make copies of them just by pressing this button. So we'll just wait for that to load. All right, great. You just successfully created duplicates of all your high resolution files. So you can go ahead and minimize that. Now what you want to do is open up a new Premiere file and just drag your footage right in. So here's my original footage, the high resolution ones, and you just drag them right into the project. So now what you can do is highlight these files, right click it and go to proxy and click attach proxies because you've already made them. So this box should show up. So we're going to try attaching the first file. So you click attach. This box will show up and you're going to need to find your proxy file. So mine are right here. So I'm going to connect this one. And when I press OK, it should automatically find the other two files. Great. So now my high resolution files are attached to my proxy files. So when we make a new sequence, and you can do that by dragging the file right into the timeline, I'm just going to drag the rest of my files in here as well. Now, my computer is pretty fast, so it can usually work with high resolution files, but when you're dealing with a lot of them, it's best to just make proxies because it'll make your life a whole lot easier. So in order to switch between the high resolution files and the proxies, you're going to want to click this toggle proxies button. Now, if you don't see it right here, you can go ahead and click the button editor and add toggle proxies to your box, but it's already in mine. And when you click the toggle proxies button, it allows you to switch from the high resolution files to the proxies that you just made. And you can see how it looks by switching back and forth between the high resolution files and the proxies. I hope this tutorial helps. I know I find it frustrating editing with big high resolution files. So proxies is the best way to go when you're trying to make a quick and easy edit. Thanks for watching this tutorial on proxies. I hope it helped. If you found this useful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. We also do freelance video editing and motion graphics, so you can check out my portfolio and testimonials at youwantpizzazz.com.